So we've got some live pictures. Uh, this is uh, Xi Jinping, the Chinese leader in Macau. He has uh, just uh, arrived in Macau. Of course, uh, Macau was a, a former uh, Portuguese colony in southern China, neighboring Hong Kong, a British colony. Um, Macau returned to uh, Chinese control uh, a few years earlier than uh, Hong Kong. But um, this is a, an opportunity for, well, Xi Jinping to send a few messages. Um, not only is he there to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Macau returning to Chinese rule, but he's also there perhaps to, I would suggest, remind the Hong Kong people of what's at stake if we continue to see protests um, on the streets of Hong Kong. And as I understand it from some of my friends in uh, the territory, there have been very stiff uh, security barriers put in place on the new highway that links Hong Kong and Macau to make sure that no um, elements were allowed to travel to Macau who may cause disruption during what again will be a ver uh, another set piece uh, Chinese event. I was just reading in The Guardian that she is expected to announce measures for Macau aimed at diversifying the economy away from being casino dominant mm. towards a financial center, in particular including a new UN denominated stock exchange, which is quite extraordinary as we talk about messaging and that towards Hong Kong, which yeah. has been the financial center. No, absolutely. And, and the point of this is that there is a blueprint that the Chinese government has for this part of the world and it is the Greater Bay Area and they see southern China evolving as a technology hub for the rest of the country and in so many ways it is further ahead on technological development and financing and um, infrastructure than other parts of the country so it would make a great deal of sense to support that which is why our very own Arjun Kapal is based in Guangzhou these days to report on technological developments and increasingly you see Chinese tech companies there and it, it makes a lot of sense in this context as you, as you say to send a message to Hong Kong about well we can evolve the development of Macau as a rival source of capital to Hong Kong so just just remember Hong Kong what's at stake. It's been an incredible journey I think in Macau I mean I went back many many years ago I went there and it looked still like a Portuguese colony. That was before the yeah. huge build out on the Kotai Strip. To get down to Fernando's, it was always uh, good <laughs> for uh, the chicken. I remember the um, the chicken was particularly good. Fernando's. Not much, yeah. but the casinos yeah. were just sort of small in the wall kind of room scenarios, not yeah. huge mega integrated resorts that you see these days.